hey everybody welcome to learning class so today we are gonna do the uh, reading answers of the academic reading hard paste porcelain so here is the passage so without wasting any time let us begin with the questions so first of all we have one to five questions for which places are the following statements about porcelain true in boxes one to five on your answer sheet write a option if you think china is the answer b option if you think europe is the answer and c option if you think both china and europe are the answers so we have with our here with our first question here dishes have sold for very high prices and the answer is c which means in both china and europe dishes have been sold for very high prices now let us see how this answer came okay now let's see where it is located in the passage so here in the definition and origin i have third paragraph with me during the Tang Dynasty, a small amounts were used by the court and the very rich. Small amounts of which thing they are talking about? They are talking about porcelain as they are saying that it was first made in China. So small amounts of porcelain was used by the court and the very rich. So it means only the rich people, they were the only people who used porcelain, which means that it was very, you know, expensive and they were the ones who could afford it only, which means means that porcelain was sold at very high prices and of where place they are talking about they are talking about china so definitely in china porcelain dishes have been sold for very high prices now let's see where it has been written the same for europe and european obsession so here we have from the very first line Porcelain was consumed in enormous quantities by European royal families, nobles and the church, all of whom tried desperately to discover its chemical composition. So in Europe also they are saying, uh, however, it here it was used in enormous quantities as compared to that of China where it was uh, used in small quantities. But here also it was used by the royal people only. It was used by European royal families, nobles and the church which means in Europe also it would be expensive and that is why only the rich people were able to afford it so in Europe and China in both these places porcelain dishes have been sold for very high prices so that is how our answer C is of the first question both China and Europe now let's see what's the second question it was first invented here so what does it refers in this statement uh, they are saying that following statements about porcelain so all of these statements they are talking about porcelain which means they are saying in second question that porcelain was first invented here uh, now only i think we have read you know here porcelain was first made in china so uh, if you think that China is the answer, definitely we have to mark A as the answer for China. So the second question answer is A. Now let's see what's the third question. Its English name comes from here, which means that uh, porcelain's English name comes from this country. Uh, or continent you could say because the answer is B which means that in Europe continent uh, English name of porcelain derived so now let's see where it's written in the passage so again an European obsession the third line 
the english word porcelain derives from the portuguese name of for a sea creature the nautilus which has a spiral orange vitreous shell from which it was believed at one time that porcelain was made so they are saying that the english word porcelain it derives it comes from the portuguese name for a sea creature so it's a portuguese name for a sea creature and where is portugal all of us know portugal is a country in europe continent so definitely from europe the place is europe from which the english name derives of the porcelain so now that is why our answer is b that means in europe its english name comes okay now what's the fourth question military and porcelain expenditure was equal in some places here which means that the amount of money that they spent on military the same amount of money they spent on porcelain and in which place did they do so in europe now let's see where it is located in the passage here you will find that so great was the frenzy for possessing chinese porcelain or attempting to recreate their own hard paste that a number of european principalities endangered themselves financially spending as much of their budgets on pursuing porcelain as on their army so uh, many of the european you you can say uh, states or provinces they uh, spent as much of their budget on pursuing porcelain as they spent on their armies which means that they spent uh, almost same amount of money on both armies and on purchasing purse porcelain sorry okay so where it happened as these were the principalities of europe so definitely in europe this did happen and then that is why the answer of the fourth question is also b that is europe now let's see what's the fifth question the fifth question is here bone china was produced and again the third time the answer is b that is in europe uh, europe was the place where bone china was produced so here it is written in the passage meanwhile in england the recipe was a little different ash from cattle bones was mixed with clay feldspar and quartz this became known as bone china and is still manufactured so uh, the recipe you know of preparing it was finally came to known as bone china where did this happen in england and where is england we all know in europe so that is how the answer of the fifth question came europe and we have written here b okay so now let's move towards the next questions 6 to 10 so the these there are stages given and we have to label them in the process below we have to write no more than two words or a number okay so this is a diagram of these stages like stage 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so total there are eight stages so first stage they are talking about so first process is the selection of raw materials now let's see in the passage so here is constituents which means of what porcelain is made of and here it is manufacture so this is a process of manufacturing porcelain so definitely are all the answers of six to ten questions would be here in this manufacture part let's see in the first line of manufacture it is written to produce porcelain the raw materials are selected and weighed okay so this is the first process selection of raw materials from here the answer came okay and the next process is weighing those raw materials it is also written okay and the third process is crushing now they are writing like a part of crushing b part and c part which means that there are 
uh, sub processes of crushing three sub processes first process is jaw crushing so here they are writing jaw crushers work first so this is the first crushing and now the blank is in the second crushing process and that is mullers or hammer mills particles so this is a sign of less than so part answer is 0 0.25 centimeter or 0 0.1 inch so it is an option for you you can either write 0 0.25 centimeter or you could write 0 0.1 it inch in diameter so particles are less than 0 0.25 centimeter in diameter so now here it is written that mullers or hammer mills subsequently reduce particles to 0 0.25 centimeter in bracket there it has been written 0 0.1 inch or less in diameter which means their diameter is less than 0 0.25 centimeter or you could say uh, less than 0 0.1 inch so uh, either of the options you can write here and the third crushing process smaller particles for the finer porcelain so here is also a third crushing using ball mills take place for the finest porcelain and the next process that is the fourth process stage you could say so here they have given a blank in the starting only and then they have uh, written here a colon which means now they are um, expecting us to write the name of this process in the given blank in the answer of the eighth question so the answer is purification here it is after third crushing there is during purification which follows which means that purification is the process which is the next process after crushing so definitely the name of the process is gonna be purification granules that are not of uniform size are screened out here also it is written that non-uniform granules are screened out okay next is next process is formation the fifth process and here also the fifth stage preparatory preparatory to firing is formation so this is the fifth stage there are several types of formations by hand or machine so now uh, the sixth process sixth stage you could say is the stage after the formation and here also they are in the ninth question expecting us to write the uh, name of the uh, stage or process okay so here fifth process was formation so definitely after formation it would be the sixth process the wear undergoes its initial firing in a kiln a special oven okay so we could write the name of the sixth stage initial firing because the wear undergoes initial firing okay in the answer you could either write initial firing or you could write first firing instead of write instead of writing initial firing why is it so because in the passage here they have written first firing instead of initial firing so uh, they have written first firing also and they have written initial firing also uh, you could write you know any of these either first firing or initial firing so here also they have written that wares are placed in a kiln and here also they have written that the ware undergoes its initial firing in a kiln so definitely this is the name of the sixth process and now the seventh process is decoration so in decoration process they are saying that it's glazing and or painting okay so now let's see in the passage so a glaze is a glassy liquid similar in composition to porcelain if a porcelain object is painted a glaze covers the paint or its decoration must be the glaze okay so they are saying if uh, any porcelain object is painted then 
the glaze will cover that paint okay so this is one option that we have painted the object and then we have covered it with glaze now what is the second option or its decoration must uh, sorry or its decoration may just be the glaze so either it could only be like that this is the object and we have just glazed it not painted so there are two options uh, that come in decoration process either we are painting the object and then glazing it or we are just simply glazing it so uh, they have written decoration so this is the pro seventh process or seventh stage you could say so in this they have that is why they have used and or or which means either glazing and painting will take place in the process of decoration or glazing or painting will take place in the process of decoration so that is how glazing answer came of this 10th question be uh, you know cautious to not write dipping in the next line you could read that glaze is applied by painting or dipping so here they are telling how glazing is done how glaze is applied by painting or dipping some students might be might get confused here and write the answer of the 10th question dipping but it is not so they are asking what comes in the process of decoration here they have not written how glazing is done you know if they would have written glazing instead of decoration then definitely you could have written dipping here instead of glazing so this is the thing that you have to be careful about what they are asking they are asking what comes under the process of decoration so either glazing and painting or just glazing so definitely and uh, here they have used the word glaze okay here they have used the word paint so this also you should consider if in the question they have used painting instead of paint so here also you would have to write glazing instead of glaze so these are the things that you have to keep in mind while writing your answers so the eighth stage is second firing okay so first firing second firing that is why also they have used first word there okay so now let's move on to the questions 11 to 14 we have to choose one word or a number from the passage for each answer so this is the process of firing porcelain okay now let's see so first is that carbon based impurities burn out so what is the temperature that uh, that on this temperature range they burn out 100 to 200 degree Celsius okay so here in the passage they have written carbon based impurities burn out at 100 to 200 degree Celsius so it is very easy for you to find out because it has been written so you know in easy words or you could say same they have written in same words as they have uh, asked you in the question okay so in the 12th question they are asking that after the carbon based impurities burn out temperature rises inside what so okay temperature rises inside kiln kiln is the answer okay so the next line only as the kiln is heated so kiln is heated which means the temperature will rise you know inside the kiln so that is how the kiln answer came and also to confirm this you could read what has what is written next so after the kiln is heated carbonates and sulfates decompose here also they have written that the temperature rises inside the kiln and then decomposition of carbonates and sulfates take place okay the next is fluxes and decomposing minerals they so they have 
used plus sign here which means they react with each other and but then they give out liquid glass okay so now they are asking at what temperature uh, they have given you know 1100 degrees celsius but uh, we have to uh, write down the lower part of the range and that is 700 okay so so between 700 to 1100 degrees celsius temperature fluxes they react with decomposing minerals to give out liquid glass let's see where it is written in the passage the next line only when heated to 700 to 1100 degrees celsius the fluxes react with the decomposing mineral to form liquid glass so it has also been written very normally or in very simple words you could say so now this is the last question we have density reached liquid glass begins to solidify so 1200 to 1454 degrees celsius the density when it is reached the liquid glass it begins to solidify it starts becoming solid from liquid okay and the location of this last question is also in the next line only after a certain density is reached okay at around 1200 degrees celsius so here it is also written 1200 degrees celsius as in the question the wear is cooled causing the liquid glass to solidify definitely when the you know liquid it will be cooled then only it will get converted into a solid you know so the wear is cooled so the cooling process takes place and the liquid glass it uh, you know starts becoming solid it begins to solidify so this is how the answers of this hard paste porcelain reading passage you know came from the passage i have discussed the locations of all the 14 questions that are here in the passage still if you have any doubt feel free to ask me in the comment section uh, okay i hope that i have explained it very well to you so goodbye for today that's it